What's up guys, it's Dwayne, back again for another video, back again for the reaction. Today is a great, wonderful, beautiful day. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because it's another Germany day. The don'ts of visiting Christmas markets. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. And today we're having a great time drinking Glühwein, having bratwurst, all kinds of good stuff that you do at the Christmas markets. But today we're gonna to talk about the things you don't do when you come to Christmas markets here in Germany. Well, first off, don't forget to pick up some glue vine when you're going around because this stuff's awesome. I'm jealous. I want some mulled wine right now because my throat is kind of hurting. I had COVID like a couple of days ago and like, um, not had, I probably still have it. But um, yeah, mulled wine's really good for clearing those sinuses and I love it and it's warming and delicious. I didn't know it was called glue vine, glue, glue vine, which means mulled wine. Cool. Awesome. Learn something my new. first don't for you with Christmas markets in Germany is don't come here too early. When I say that is, you know in the US, the stuff goes up in Walmart in September for Christmas things. Here in Germany, the Christmas markets don't start until the first Sunday in Advent. So think about it this way, probably the first of December or maybe, uh, maybe the last weekend in November is when they open up. So don't think you're gonna come here on Thanksgiving break and go have a Christmas market stuff because they might not be open yet. So that's my first don't for you. Don't. Well, yeah, if it's not Christmas, don't go to the Christmas market. <laughs> Can you imagine someone turn up like November, I don't know, beginning of November, November to Germany and look for a Christmas market? It's not Christmas, guys. Don't go. And don't go after Christmas Day or Boxing Day, as we call it, 26th. The Christmas period is done. People have lives. It's not open. Um, I think that's just common sense, really, I think. I think... If you go to the Christmas market and it's not on, you obviously haven't planned and you obviously haven't used your brain. Engage it because it's not Christmas. Don't come here too early. But my second thing is don't come too late. Exactly. Because if you come too late, you think, oh, we're going to go for a Christmas vacation in Germany and have the Christmas markets on Christmas Day. You don't have that here. For example, here in Venega Oda, People they're stopping on the 22nd. If you go to Quedlinburg, which is right by here, which is a cute town to go to Christmas markets, their last day is the 21st. But you might say, well, what about big cities like Berlin? Even those might close on the 23rd. Because remember, the 24th, 25th, and 26th are all holidays in Germany. And after yeah. the 26th, the second day of Christmas, it's not Christmas anymore. So all these markets go away. So you want to make sure you come basically on the 1st of December through like the 23rd of December. You should be okay. Now, having said that, if you're in a bigger city that has lots of international travelers like Hanover or Frankfurt, you probably will be able to find some Christmas market stuff after Christmas, but it's very unlikely. Yeah. So make sure you don't... Well, yeah, I mean, it does make sense that if tourists are around and it's a bigger city, like a capital city or one of the big ones like he listed, Frankfurt and Hamburg, it makes sense for them to maybe have it on a, a few days after Christmas because, you know, there's going to be tourists and they probably will go. But, yeah, for the majority of towns and city, I'm guessing in Germany, it's like, why would you have the Christmas market on when it's not Christmas? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, and it's probably not profitable. So, yeah, but I get it for the big capital cities, maybe to have it a few more days after Christmas as well. Make sure you don't come too early, but also don't come too late, okay? Now, you remember how I said, don't forget your glue vine when you come here? But one thing you should know is, if you don't drink alcohol, you can you don't have to get glue vine. There's other things out there. You can get Kinder Punch, which is, which is Kids Punch, or Hot Chocolate, they have that. Kinder but if you don't like... Do you know what? I only just realized, or found out in the last video, that kids... There's a kid's version of mulled wine. I did not know that. <laughs> that the problem is that they probably have that available in the UK, but I just never knew until that video. The glue vine, there's also other hot drinks you might have. You have Eilekur, which is like eggnog, Eilekur. like hot eggnog with alcohol in it. Mm, or there's the Feuerzingerbulle, which is like the fire tongue, where sometimes they'll light a ice cube, or sorry, they'll light a, a sugar cube on fire and put it in there. So you do have other nice. options. But the don't for all of those, whether it's Eilekur, glue vine, or Kinder Punch, is if you get a cup like this, don't forget the fund. The fund in Germany is a deposit. So this 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 uh, here yeah. was three euros for the wine, but then another 250 I had to give them for the cup. Now the thing is, don't forget to take the fund back. Don't forget to take the cup back. <coughs> that is like an etiquette, isn't that not etiquette? Oh yeah, kind of like Christmas market etiquette. Make sure that you take back your mug if you want your money back. Um, the fund, 
Uh, we have that in the UK at the German Christmas markets that we have, even though they're really small. But I didn't know about that until I went to one for the first time in, in Leeds. And I was like, oh, you can get your money back for the mug. But to be honest, the mugs are really nice. And um, I've, I think I've kept one. But I should, I'm now, I think if I go, I probably would keep, ev not every mug, but like a mug from every Christmas market I've been to. Because they stack up and you use them during Christmas, so. And they're nice mugs as well, proper nice mugs. Because when you do, you get your two euros or three euros that's back, that's and those fonts can add up. So, for example, last year we were in Munich for Christmas. It was five euros per cup. This one here was two fifty in a smaller town. So it will add up if you're not sure how many you're buying. And so just have a heads up for that. Now, another don't and a half for you is don't feel like you have to take it back because this does make a really cute souvenir. Like it has vinegar yeah. ode on it. You know, my mom and I probably have thirty of these each from different places around Germany. So it can yeah. make a cool souvenir when you're here, but. Don't forget, there's the fun to go along with this, okay? Now, my next don't for you is don't count calories when you come to the Christmas markets. <laughs> Look, there's so much good things to eat and drink yeah. when you're here. Oh, yes, the glue vine. Can you imagine going to the Christmas market and be like, okay, this is a, this is a hundred, this is a hundred calories, this is 500 calories, I can't have that. I mean, if you're on a diet where you're counting calories, okay, fair enough, but just don't go to the Christmas market because you're not gonna be able to count them. Everything's deep fried, everything's full of sugar, everything is just bigger, like the sausages are this big. Just don't go, don't count calories. You're sucking the fun out of things. Uh, yes, the eye liquor and all these awesome things they have, but also there's the food, like the bratwurst, not just small bratwurst, but half meter bratwurst, they have those things. You get exactly. cockbiken and schmalzkuchen, these little fried dough things and the nuts and all kinds of gingerbread and oh my god, there's so many good things to eat at the Christmas markets. Good. So I just Unhealthy. tell you right now, don't count calories, just go and enjoy, because that's one of the things you really like. Now another thing is, one of the great things about having this glue vine and being outside and enjoying the, the chilly weather here, is you get to go out and meet some of the Germans. And what my next don't for you is you're gonna see all these little tables like this around. See the guy sitting there having his glue vine and stuff like that. <laughs> if you're gonna be at those, one thing, don't hog the table. Share it. This is one of the great times of the years where the Germans are all outside, they're all happy, yeah. all talking, and that's a great time to meet locals, is at the Christmas market because they come and they stand with you and you drink your glue vine together, and it's a really great thing. So don't Oh, that's a very it is a very nice thing, isn't it? So is that is that is that the best way to meet a German person? stand at one of those little tables and wait for someone to stand with their mug and have a nice little conversation. I'll remember that. Um, we ha I'm pretty sure we have those in the UK as well, but um, we're not German, so we're not <laughs> maybe not as social at the Christmas market as you guys are. But everyone's in good spirits when, when they go, so. Don't hog that table. Use that chance to talk to the Germans. and. Don't be scared to talk to them. You'll be surprised how many speak, not just a little. Hello, see? See how nice the Germans are? See, come on top. Hi, wir sind nett. Tschüss. Frohe Weihnachten. See, the Germans are just fantastic at the Christmas wow. markets. So you go there. Did he plan that? That was just like on cue. On cue. Did he plan that? I feel like, it, let's see that again. He didn't plan that, did he? Just, they just came over and said hi. That was like perfect timing. As they come and they stand with you and you drink your glue vine together, and it's a really great thing. So don't hog that table. Use that chance to talk to the Germans and don't be scared to talk to them. You'll be surprised how many speak, not just a little. Hello, <laughs> see? See how nice the Germans are? They come on top. Hi, we're the Perfect timing. Introduction. <laughs> See, the Germans are just fantastic at the Christmas markets. So you go there, you get to meet them, and they have all these things. So don't miss that opportunity, because that's one of my favorite parts to come to the Christmas markets, is meeting the Germans when they're out here. So my next don't for you is... But do you need to be able to speak German? I mean, she, I don't know, I'm not sure if she spoke, he spoke German to her. But most of you can speak English. So I'm sure it'd be fine. Don't feel like you have to buy everything you see. Look, there's all kinds of cute, cute, cute things you're going to see from Christmas orders to Christmas decorations to toys to wooden stuff. There's so many fun things. So cute. Really cute. Yeah, you shouldn't feel like you have to buy. I mean, that should go without saying. You, don't, you shouldn't feel like you have to buy everything you see. <laughs> Can you imagine? You'd be absolutely broke after going to the Christmas market. So expensive. Um, 
yeah, it's it's kind of like a browsing. Is that what you guys do? It's like you walk through, you look at things, you drink some old wine. You might have you know a snack here and there, but you don't like purchase all the little things you see because it's so expensive. Let me know in the comment section below. On things to buy, and you're gonna to want to buy when you do come to the Christmas markets. But don't buy everything, okay? You can't fit it all in your suitcase. Take your time, explore, spend a couple of days at the same markets and kind of stuff, and then really figure out what you really want to buy. Because it's so easy to go overboard. Like my my mom, oh, my mom and I. Well, my wife says my mom and I have a problem because we just keep buying Christmas ornaments. Like we have like three Christmas trees worth of ornaments that we got from like. Correct. Don't think there are only Christmas markets in Germany. There are many great Christmas markets around Europe. There are. There, there, we have them in the UK, but I just don't think they're as good as them. Well, I know they're, out, they're, out, they're not as good as the ones in Germany. Yours look epic, but yeah. From like Christmas markets here, so don't buy everything you see. Another don't I have for you is when you see the, the, the Christmas heart, you see the hearts back there, the gingerbread hearts. When you see those, don't eat those. Don't eat those, okay? <laughs> the thing is, they're gingerbread and you can eat them, but they're usually not the tastiest one. Buy the smaller cookie smaller versions one. of them. Those are way tastier if you just get cookie gingerbread because those big heart ones. I've never been a big fan of those. You can eat them, but they're not the tastiest. Now the next stone I have for you is kind of one of the reasons why we're here at Venigo Oda. Look how pretty this market is. We're in a small town. And I would say is don't feel like you have to stay in the big cities to enjoy the Christmas markets in Germany. Okay. Go and check out some of the smaller towns because they have some of the cutest markets you're really going to enjoy. So get out and enjoy them. And I will say though, another don't I have for you is don't forget to dress the part. Make sure you have your hat and your jacket and stuff like that. Going back to what he said before, in your town, well, wherever you live in Germany, or in fact, where do you think is the best place in Germany for a Christmas market? I know you will all have different answers, but I think you will all have, I think in the comment section, there will be a specific place that will come up more than the others, just so I can rank, which is the best Christmas market, and which is not the worst, but from one to 10. Or you could do that. Give me your top 10 Christmas markets in Germany and write them in the comment section and let me know. And if you're enjoying this, subscribe because um, I'm a new YouTuber and I would love it if you subscribed. Thanks guys. Like that because you're gonna be outside so much that it does get cold. Even if it's just above freezing or like 40 degrees or five Celsius or whatever, if you're outside for three or four hours, you do get quite chilly. So yeah, make sure you have your gloves, your hat, outside. all these kind of stuff. If you're not from Europe, <laughs> if you're not from Europe, then maybe you're not aware that you need to wrap up warm when you go out in winter time. But if you're from Europe, especially like UK, Scandinavia, Germany, you know, we know that we need hat, gloves, you need insulate, you need a, a thermal jacket, thermal socks, whatever, to be outside in the cold, a scarf, we know this stuff to keep warm. I always take good gloves and good walking shoes or good warm walking shoes when you are going to the Christmas markets. Yeah. It will pay off in the long run, believe me. The thing is, it's okay if you're not going to be staying in a smaller town like Venigo Oda. What's cool is you can do day trips from the bigger cities to go to some of these smaller town markets. You know, if you're in yeah. Munich, head to Regensburg or Bamberg or Nuremberg. Nuremberg's famous for its Christmas market as a day trip. Or if you're in Berlin, you can head out, go out to Potsdam and see something there. If you're in Frankfurt, go down to Heidelberg. There's all kinds of small towns you can go to. So don't skip, don't think it's bad to take a day trip just to go to Christmas markets, because some of them really are worth it. Now, my last don't for you, if you're gonna be coming to the Christmas markets in Germany is, don't forget to bring some cash. Look, a lot of these yeah. places, you know, it's you know, a homemade person <sighs> making the bread or doing the glue on <clears throat> or sausages or whatever. They're not- Cash. I don't know, when I, in the UK, when I go to the Christmas market, they always have a card machine, like contactless card machine. I would have thought in Germany it would be the same. Cash is trash. No, I'm joking. I just thought like after COVID as well, cash is not really like used that much. I don't know, let's hear what he says. They're not taking credit cards most of the time, so you're going to need cash. So don't forget to hit up that ATM before you come here so you can go and enjoy the glue vine and the schmalzkuchen and the, and the bratwurst or go pick up a little treat or something. Maybe this was before COVID. I don't know when this was filmed. It might have been filmed before COVID because I'm pretty sure after COVID, a lot of places just like completely switched to being cashless um, everywhere. 
So I don't know. Let me like know in the comment section if that's the case at your German markets. Well, the German markets are on now. Let me know in your local German market uh, in the comment section below if they only accept cash in some vendors or do they all accept card or contactless or Apple Pay. Let me know like that because it really is a cash-based society a cash-based Christmas society I'd say but I will say if you're gonna go to one of these uh, stands that has like nicer stuff like more expensive gifts they probably will take credit cards so you'll be okay there but in general when you're gonna go get your glue on and stuff like that cash is definitely king at the Christmas markets anyway I hope that helped you get better prepared for going to the Christmas markets here in Germany if you want to learn more like the five things you really should eat when you come here or advice for visiting Germany at Christmas or traveling the world at Christmas check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on Twitter Facebook Instagram YouTube go support Walter I love him he always has amazing videos but now I know what not to do when I go to a Christmas market. That last one was a bit of a shocker though. Let me know in the comment section. Definitely let me know if you guys only take cash in some like vending places. Because I would never bring cash to a Christmas market. I would be, I would have thought that paying contactless would be completely fine. Let me know in the comment section if, if this is, you know, still true today. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, I will see you very soon.